He may look like any other penguin at his home in Edinburgh Zoo surrounded by his friends, but from today this little creature is to be known as Sir Nils Olav after receiving a knighthood from the King's Guards of Norway. A ceremony involving 130 guardsmen saw the world's most celebrated bird officially be knighted after he inspected the line of troops. The majestic bird waddled out to a musical fanfare after a message from Norway's King Harald was read. The place and office of peerage of our realm be bestowed upon you on this day, the 15th day of August 2008, and is our gift and disposition, we being well satisfied with loyalty, courage, and good endowments of our trusty and well-beloved Niels Olaf, and reposing in tri entire trust and confidence in you as, as a penguin, in every way qualified to receive the honour and dignity of knighthood and the office aforesaid. And today marked a proud moment for the bird's namesake, Major Nils Eglin, who persuaded his regiment to sponsor the King Penguin. It's very, very, very important. It gives joy to the guardsmen and not only joy, but also knowledge of penguins of Scotland on the Zoological Garden. So that, 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 and that is very, very important. So I must say I was very moved <clears throat> when I saw the ceremony today. Nils Olav is a very, very good Norwegian guardsman. How you know that? And animal handlers at the zoo are now getting used to having a night mixing with the other birds in the enclosure. I'm sure the penguin's really happy, um, or should I say Sir Neil Zolav's probably very happy with his, um, his, um, his award. I don't think he actually pays that much attention when he goes back in, but who knows what, what, what happens in penguin speak. Maybe he gets um, privileged to stand wherever he wants, I don't know, but um, he seems very happy about it anyway.